In less than a week, Pope Francis will be traveling to Ireland to attend the World Meeting of Families. It will be the first time a Pope has visited Ireland since Pope John Paul II's visit 39 years ago, when a third of the population had turned out to see the Holy Father. This new documentary, directed by Emmy Award winner David Nyleri and narrated by Jim Caviezel, John Paul II in Ireland, A Plea for Peace, delves into John Paul II's historic three-day trip to the country in 1979, particularly in Drogheda, during a time of violent struggle between the IRA and British state security forces over control of Northern Ireland. It's really an untold story. People are really unaware of the ways in which it planted the seeds of peace. And it was a story that lived in the hearts of those who were influenced and we wanted to give them a chance to share their story and to tell the world about his speech in Drahada and how his crusade for peace that became part of his entire incredible 26-year papacy um, also made a great impact in Ireland. The documentary interviews many prominent political and social figures such as former IRA bomber Shane O'Doherty, Martin Manzer, Seamus Mallon and Lord David Alton. Breathed life into the gospel values of peace and reconciliation. He breathed life into the skeleton. He, he enfleshed it. His appeal did have an impact in relation to the Northern Ireland conflict. And I think the vehemence uh, of his opposition to violence broke any link between Catholicism and the provisional IRA. The documentary also unveils new archival evidence detailing the hidden role John Paul II played in the secret talks between opposition leaders for peace in Northern Ireland. Pope Francis will be planting seeds the same way John Paul II did. And uh, what are the seeds he's planting? And what kind of harvest will he reap? It's another uh, point of reflection as we see Pope Francis visit Ireland. At an intense time for the church in Ireland with the abuse scandals and legislation of abortion, this film hopes to show the positive impact a papal visit had on Ireland last time. They would make a negotiating table.